from Glasgow, uh, John Deegan, who's the Chief Executive Officer of the uh, Society for the Protection of the Unborn Child in Scotland, and the group who challenged the decision to allow women to have abortions at home. And then here in the studio is Professor Leslie Regan, the pr President of the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynaecologists, who supports women in England uh, being able to have uh, abortions at home. Good evening to you both. Um, Leslie Regan, is this an important legal milestone as far as you're concerned? I think it's a very important step forward because I hope that what we will now see is that our own Secretary of State in England, Matthew Hancock, will follow the example of both Scotland and Wales and allow women the same dignity um, and compassionate care by allowing them to complete uh, the medical abortion in their own home. Right. Um, John Deegan, I know you don't want there to be abortions. If an abortion is going to happen, what is your objection to it uh, happening or the second pill being taken at home as opposed to sitting in the doctor's surgery? Well, in this case, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, a backward step right to the very beginning where uh, the, the 67 Abortion Act was brought in because apparently of backstreet abortion. And now we have DIY abortions where women are taking an, a powerful drug in their own home, unsupervised, with a high rate of complications, with 15% of women hemorrhaging. Uh, America uh, recently re released a report from the FDA saying that there were 22 women who died with the, taking the abortion pill. So it's something that's not good for, uh, for okay. women's health. And uh, okay, well, no, you've given a very good. You've given a. You've, you've made a, an argument there. Let's put it to um, Leslie Regan. The medical danger, uh, hemorrhaging, other dangers? Well, we've got good evidence uh, from Scotland. We've got good evidence from France and Sweden that there isn't any increase in medical complications or complications per se when women take abortion pills at home. Um, is it the case you, would, can... you, you, you wouldn't notice the complication anyway probably till the woman had left the the doctor's surgery anyway, would you? I mean, I'm just, is that right? Or would yes, similarly, but what we've done, what's been done in Scotland and in other countries where they've introduced this very successfully is to follow up girls and women who've gone through this procedure and there have not been any increase in complications. And there, there's an increase oh, compared ahead. to surgical abortions, of course. Uh, quite a considerable increase for medical abortions compared to surgical abortions. And some of the studies have shown that 50% of women need um, surgical intervention after taking uh, the abortion pill. So w women are being told that this is safe and simple, and it's simply not true. Uh, it's an embodiment of the principles of health care, which are about preserving health, not inflicting uh, But sorry, you're health. arguing again, you're arguing against medical abortion, but this isn't yeah. an argument about medical abortion. It's an argument about whether the medical it, abortion is two trips to the doctor or it, one trip to the doctor, isn't it's it? About in, it's about encouraging medical abortion and telling wim, women that it's safe and simple, and that's simply not, not the right. case. So are there more medical abortions, Leslie Regan, if you have the provision of being able to finish it at home as opposed to have to stay in the doctor's? Because if, you don't, if, 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 if someone says, I don't want medical abortions, then maybe they're right to say we should make it a bit more difficult to have a medical abortion. There is no evidence to show or to, 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 to um, um, support uh, John Deegan's comment that it increases the number of abortions. Globally, I, I, in, in I, countries where this has been introduced, there is no increase in the number of abortions. But increasing the number of medical abortions? No. No. no, I mean, no, no the reality is that three quarters of all terminations of pregnancy now in this country are undertaken medically. Right. John Deegan? Well, we've got a terribly high rate of abortion. This is this is the problem. We've taken lots of steps of uh, where we say that contraceptives are available at every stage, and yet we still have a fifth of human beings losing their life in the womb because of abortion. This is a further trivialisation of it. And, and one of the reasons they have to do this is because doctors increasingly find it so distasteful to perform abortions. So the abortion industry are quite happy to push it the burden completely onto women so the woman now is taking the full burden she has to go through the abortion at home and one of the consequences that Leslie I would like you to look at are the emotional and psychological impact that abortion has in women uh, the other dimension that we would like people to look at is the coercion if you can say to women this is a simple and safe thing for you to do it's very easy for others when there's a, an inconvenient pregnancy to put the pressure on the woman but, for her but sorry, to go so forward you, for an abortion so you, but you made a lot of points there but I, I, again I, I, John Deegan, aren't you relitigating an argument about abortion? And basically, you're just saying you want abortion to be inconvenient rather than convenient, or you want it to be horrible, surgical and unpleasant rather than quick. No, and, I'm, isn't that really I'm saying what, isn't that I'm... just a summary of your argument there? 
I'm, abortion is unpleasant. I mean, we heard that the woman in your package said that it was a very unpleasant experience. What I'm saying is you're pushing more women to go through that experience. We're trivialising it, telling them it's safe and simple. When we have a 50% complication rate, we have 15% of women having heavy hemorrhaging. This is not this something is safe and simple.